All right. Uh, I think okay. We are we are live currently. Um, and while I wait, because this is supposed to start in ten minutes, I'm gonna make some coffee. Glorious. Wow. Okay, cool. So uh, I think I'm going to brew some coffee because we got to get through this this intense ranking session of talking about things. <laughs> um, so I feel like I feel like we made a lot of progress last night. We're streaming a lot earlier, so I hope people can actually tune in. Um, it is quite, it was quite surprising. We were streaming at like midnight last night and people, people were hanging out in the chat. So always, always love that. Um, but this was where we were in the rankings. And I think, I think we're going to keep going through this. We got to do, we got to do $50 and we got to do a hundred dollars or we'll see, we'll see how far we can get. Um, but you know, I definitely think we need to put more stuff on here and then give it, you know, we need, we need more like low rankings on here, if that makes sense. Um, but I think in the meantime, I am going to brew some coffee because why not? I have no idea what the stream element spot does, but I have some El Pet from Hydrangea that I might brew. So I think this would be fun to, to start off with. Um, or we can keep brewing David Berrio, which is this, but I'll have a little bit, even though it's, uh, I guess, pretty pretty late at night. Um, and we might as well brew on this yellow April. So let's go ahead and actually do that. I'm just gonna... And we can do this while uh, our wild people start rolling in. I guess I'll hand grind my way to victory. I always am afraid of stalling uh, these poor Kalitas. By the way, we have evidence. We, we'll, we'll go over. We'll go over this later. But we have, we have the emails that that some guy actually emailed Kalita. So we we. We have a solve for the Kalita wave conspiracy theory. And I probably... All right. Big filter taking over one brew at a time. Yeah, it really, it is like that. One day we can do a fried chicken franchise comparison. Uh, if, if that is of interest, we can pull a critical. La Palma, very, very good. Uh, okay, I have no idea what grind settings I'm at, but I feel like I feel like it should be pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, here, how do I do this? By the way, people did ask about this. Uh, at least like one guy on the, yeah. So these are from Daiso. I need to like reiterate. It's like $2 for these um, dosing cups. Yes, you're you're actually around for the live stream. Um, yeah. Also, feel free to 
ask uh, any sort of questions. I have not tried Bojangles. I have I have seen it. Uh, I think I was in North Carolina. I saw it. Um, but yeah, I think um, I I am forgetting forgetting the the fry, the the names. Okay. All right. What are my thoughts on the Bean Seeker? Uh, well, I I have uh, there's a Bean Seeker in my kitchen because it takes a year to make cold brew. It takes like um uh you know a, um, around an hour, uh, depending on how slow you make the flow rate go. Um, I think eventually we'll probably do a Bean Seeker stream, like probably this weekend if I have time. Um, the these beans are the uh, I believe Bio Innovation Wash Gesha from Hydrangea. It's a uh, La Palma El Tucan coffee El Pet, and uh, we will we will see. Um, my grind might be insanely coarse because I have been messing around with River Rocks Brewing. So River Rocks is basically when you go super, super coarse and you wet WDT things like crazy. Um, but yeah, okay. We'll do this before our stream officially starts. And I'm just gonna try to brew coffee while I have my laptop here. Love that. Questionable decisions. River Rocks is the way to go. Yeah, you know, it is. We might end up with some River Rocks. We'll take a look. Let me make sure I have space on my computer to record this. Cool. Sitting 12.03, very cool. The Gevi Grindmaster is the same grinder. They are fixing stuff. I need to, I need to probably upload that video at some point, but like they, where is it? They fixed some stuff. They're making this stepless. They are also, I think, improving the things that I complain about, AKA power buttons. Like this power button is being improved. I think. So it's pretty cool. Um, that's the one cool thing about Gevi is that they kind of go above and beyond in terms of engineering iterations. They're very fast. Um, you can complain about a lot of things and they take care of it all. And I really admire them for that. Um, but it's the same grinder. Okay. So might be hard to see this. And watch me just spill all these beans here. Can't, I have to like, I don't have the product mode on this camera. That is not that fine. <laughs> this is the B plus Apollo hand grinder, which uses uh, the Ital Mill 48 conicals. It, it, Ital, Ital, Ital Mills. Um, and it's in this glorious, you know, it's, it's like, um, like a pillar, you know, if you notice this, it's, a, it's the pillar. It also has, um, in my opinion, a way more intuitive grind adjustment. Like I like that you can put that they have the grind adjustment on the top. feels good to use. Very cool. It's also very, very heavy. All right, 
gonna I'm gonna pretend I know how to make coffee. One day I will set up another camera uh, so that you guys can see the top. I actually do have this arm that I got and then I can do the overhead camera, but we'll eventually, you know, we'll eventually get there. That, that is too high production quality for, for what we put on this YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm just gonna have a little bit of this, I think, and and I'll be happy. It's cause yelling at a camera for, or like, you know, I have to be an entertainer for some period of time. That, that's, that is, um, that will use my energy from this co coffee. Cool. All right, now I am done with this. Now we will go back to the other screen soon. Okay. French press grind size, yeah, something like that. Okay, uh, we, we gotta catch up on the chat. One sec, one sec, one sec. People asking about pre, okay. Where would you place April Dripper? Um, I don't know, I think it's fun. It can sometimes stall if you have bad paper filters like conspiracy theory Kalita filters. Some of them are highly questionable. Um, Thoughts on pre-dosing, I think pre-dosing is completely fine, especially if you're using like lighter roast coffees, you can just have those all set up. Um, and also if you are doing pre-dosing with, I mean, most things, you have a lot of control. Like if you have an espresso machine that's slow profiling or pressure profiling, you can compensate if the grind needs to be adjusted at all. You can just change flow rate. Uh, da -da -da -da. Looking for a new grinder, DF64 or Niche Zero. Anyone have any suggestions for both espresso and filter? Uh, prob I mean, like the new DF64 is kind of nice, I think. V, Gen 2, V2, like, I don't know. They're all the same. <laughs> Actually, don't buy like a Gen 1 or like a P or the E. I don't think those will work for what you're doing. Um, 83 is really nice as well, uh, but it depends on what burrs you have. Um, okay, here we go. The leaf tool that I was using is the Wafo leaf, uh, Wafo Espresso leaf. This is not the same one. We have the other one here. So basically it's like this and you can, this will focus. Hello, focus. Um, and you can go in and agitate your conical uh, beds. It's very convenient. This is a La Palma El Pet uh, coffee from Hydrangea. And, uh, and um, yeah. I'm gonna have a little bit of it because it's late. This is also probably a low extraction brew. Um, I have not experimented with super low extraction, like 13, 14% yet. Although, I mean, I mean I, okay, I have like unintentionally done that. Yeah, see, brewing is more of a constant, yes. If you omega brain here. Okay, cool, all right. I think it is now time for us to delete some things. Well, let's, we can add some more stuff on here. I think the scoring, I think the rankings on this are a little too high. So I think I wanna fix the rank here on some of these and then kinda of wanna go into these things. And I need to be uh, uh, probably a little more awake before I actually, um, before I actually do some of this. So, Let's take a look at this list 
currently and and I would I would like it if we determine what is allowed to stay Yes, I actually do. Uh, oh, but he might not have it anymore. Well, let's go to hatch crafted. Hatch crafted. All right. I have. I have an old bag here. If they still have this coffee, they they kind of change this a bit. This is a half calf. Um, personally, I really like a lot of those, uh, Bermudez, Bermudez coffees for, uh, decafs, but let's see, let's see if they have this. Let's take a look. Let's see. There we go. There it is. There it is, boys. Buy this. I will I will link this in the chat for you all. Uh, this is I think this is still a half calf. But it's all El Paraiso. So <clears throat> some of these coffees get so processed to a point that you are tasting less of the decaf. Like you can get some juice out of these. So it's pretty good. Um, and then yes, somebody also mentioned this one. This is also, where, where is it? Here it is. This is also a good choice as well. Let me link this, link this in the chat. Uh, yeah, these two are pretty good. Cool. I'm also brewing like 12 grams here. This is a very small amount of coffee, in my opinion. But yeah, these are these are some high tiered, uh, high quality coffees. I think you guys would be pretty happy with either of those choices. When Bill uh, Hydrangea does have his um, decaf in. He does sometimes like s some of those Diego decafs. Manhattan also has uh, Diego decaf. Those are all really great. I still do have the meticulous. It is just in the Pelican case. Uh, I, I, well, I maybe will take it out one day. Um, okay. All right. Here we go. Let's get into this. So I'm looking at this list again. And I am, am relatively happy. Can I stop showing Canadian roasters? Yeah, you know, the Canadian roasters are all pretty good. Also, I just like the guys at Hatch. I think they do a, a fantastic job. Um, okay, let's go down this list now. Plastic V60, I think is an A tier product for under 25. I think this. I think. I think this. This should be here, uh, for what it is. I also think the three D printed WDT tool is a pretty legit setup as well. I don't have a Roas. It's not mine. I. I. The only roaster which um, actually like I don't have any of these roasters here anymore is like I had the Santoker. <laughs> uh, my friends who are actually roasters. Who who actually can do the the craft justice are uh, are the ones who are who are doing that. Uh, they're 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 being crazy, and they are buying Diego coffees and they are roasting, which is very interesting. So I I think I'm happy with like these two S ranked things right now. Like I I, I think I think this is fine. Neoman Waitman RDT but RDT is like. I think it's a C tier. Like you don't really need one of these because you ha because the cupping spoon here invalidates the spray bottle. So are these like bean tubes? I think is like a D tier product. F here. 
this is like a D tier, like at $25 this is like a D tier thing. Like if you're doing espresso, I think you can get away with it. Um, but if you're doing filter, it's gonna be like pretty inaccurate. V okay, yeah, V60 Mugen, mm, I think like, okay, if we really wanna get specific, we'll do it this way, we'll, we'll fine, we'll do, we'll, do it, we'll do it like this. We can rank all the random drippers. Like what else is there? I think this is A tier. These are things that I've used, by the way. So, Mugen is like a C, I think, nowadays. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I, I'll add the TDS meter back, man, hold, hold, hold up. I think this is like also, well, it's okay. Do we think this is a C tier? I actually, I actually think this is like a B tier product. Um, Kono, okay, fine. I will rank the Kono as well. We'll put the Kono here. Kono is an A tier. I think, I think the Kono, the Crystal Eye, and the V60 are like some of the better ones when we're talking um, under $25 for plastic. Uh, XF does not fit in this price range. We're, we're still under 25. Bripe used to be under 25, but now it has to get bumped into under 50 because of an inflation, right? Um, you know, good S tier. Okay. I think I think this is pretty fair. Maybe. Does this upset anyone? <laughs> Any coffee shop recs in SF Chinatown area, uh, just go to Coffee Movement. That place is great. Yes, B75 is 100% a good value for under $25. It is an A-tier product. It is, it's like, if you want to experience fast flow, flat bottom, like you get out of an Aurea. This will get, get you there for $13.99. We're still building out the under 50 list here. So yesterday we did, last night, we did all of our, um, a lot of our under 25s and we can totally adjust under 25 as, as time goes on, but I think we're gonna do our under under 50 now. So King Grinder, Dog Bowl, Drip Assist, Drip, how much, how much is that hard Drip Assist? I've, I've never used one of these, so I cannot really comment on it. So I'm gonna move some of these up here. Um, definitely not entirely sure on performance of some of these. Mellow Drip, how much? Is, I honestly do not keep track of how much these cost because it seems like oh, $38. Wow, okay. Okay, Mellow Drip is here. Uh, Dog Bowl is on here. Switch. A Switch, I think, is $35. Okay, 40 bucks, 35 And how much is a Clever now? Okay. Also for 38 bucks. Okay, so these are all like 35, 35, 35. Normcore Tamper also still fits in here. Bripe is now much more expensive. Jeez, can you even buy it? You used to be able to buy the Bripe from Amazon. I, I remember getting it for, holy shit, 89, what happened? Oh my God. Here we go. It's $90. What happened? I, I think I do have a, uh, one of my friends got the Time More Drip Assist and it's on the way. Uh, we have not covered the Delta, the Tricolet, Tricolet. And okay, we'll also, tri Tricolet has to come in this area, right? How much is one of these now? Oh, 52, okay. So we have to bump it up to the under under 100 area. 
Um, you know, there are so many products here. So this is going to be, I guess, like, you know, we can do the quintessential list here. We might, as well, we might as well just go and look at Slowpore's website and just add every single product onto the list. Uh, I'm gonna put Air S in here. Okay, I'll give the I'll give these guys like rankings and we'll fill out the prices eventually. But all right, here we go. This is the technology. I will add the Lily Drip on here, I guess, but. I have not used one, so I cannot give it a really accurate ranking. No, we haven't gone to the fancy basket yet because we were we we were uh, under we were in this area. But I think the Pullman, the only fancy-ish basket we had was the Pullman for under twenty-five, which I actually think is significantly better than a lot of the other IMS stuff. I just... WVM picture, okay. Some of these things I literally don't use. I've never been to Tokyo, I don't know what's good. Uh, I use the Wafo Spirit, that one's really good. It's very high clarity. decanter need their own list yes say two pound six yeah so yeah, this is legit okay here we go i'm trying to fill out more of the under 50 dollar category i i think we we spent a lot of time with this like there are so many different things that you can get for under 25 bucks that are all pretty good um we can add the the kettle back on the Hydrangea subscription. I mean, do we want to rank subscriptions? Like, we can, we can rank subscriptions if if this is of interest. Air kettle. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. I need to I need to rank these. Give me give me a sec, guys. Okay, here we go. Lily drip. I don't know. Honestly, looking at lily drip. I just like Okay, okay. Fine. Like I was eventually going to add a type to all of these and then we were, and then we can like fill and then you guys could filter on the spreadsheet, but so I, I kind of just wanted to get everything on on this list here. So I'll just say coffee, coffee, dripper. So many drippers. Dripper. I'm gonna count these Gabby stuff. Like, I'm gonna put these all in the dripper category. Kettle. Okay. And I also put this in dripper. Uh, I guess AeroPress can have its own category as well, even though there's like three items for it including the arrow presses themselves. I, I don't know if the Lily Drip is too niche when we have, when you have like S-Works design puck screen on the list. That's, that's like, that's like one. Six stage RO under sync. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna look at these rankings again. Okay, I totally, I, I was gonna give the Kono an A ranking but I think the Crystal Eye in, o, in the O1 accomplishes, like I think these accomplish the same thing. But the difference is I have had, and many of you guys have had, Kono's crack on you. Um, I have had, I've had Kono's crack, crack on me. No, okay, okay, Caleb, we're adding stuff back on the list because we need to give it a ranking, okay? Immersion and percolation. Maybe. Okay, well, we'll see how in-depth we need to go. 
But at the end of the day, how how hard can we rank? You know, how how intricate do we really need to rank pieces of plastic? Okay, let's let's, let's think about this here. So I because I've had Kono's break on me, I need to give this a B tier. I need to bump it down because it cracks. I haven't had any Time More drippers crack on me. I haven't had the B75 crack on me. I haven't had the Crystal Eye crack on me, but I've had the Kono crack on me. So I don't know. Does that upset anyone that I bump it down one tier because of that? Don't know. Also, I've never cracked a V60 yet. I still think Jkim makes any of these WDT tools, the 3D printed ones, are S tier. I think it's S tier. I think the Neo Way Waitman is S tier. I'm I I I think these are uh, these are are of high high tier things. Uh, we're still in under twenty five. I don't I don't think there are any good French presses under twenty five dollars right now. I think the good ones are like the S Pro and all of those. I think the Simply Press was also interesting, but I have not used it. RDT Spray Bottle. I bumped it down to C tier because you could use a cupping spoon. How dare you have different opinions. Bean tubes, I don't really think they're that necessary. Um, like, I, I just like, I don't know. I just, I'm not that interested in bean tubes. So I, I'm just like, I think they're like a D tier product. C um, Lily Drip, I think is a C tier. It's like, it's like one of those products where it's like, is it worth it to even do this? Cupping is S tier, okay. Goodwill French press is under $25. Okay, you know, you know, we're not counting you stuff at this moment, okay? Maybe we'll add we'll create create another list, okay? But right now, um Damn, how much did I get my Sylvia for? I got the Sylvia for $25, I think. So I could put the Sylvia on here. <laughs> or however much I paid for it, it was a good, Goodwill special. Um, I think the neat glasses, these are definitely S tier. They will unlock your, um, oh, I'm talking about the neat competition glasses, these guys, they're awesome. Yeah, we'll put the Lotus in under 50. And that's a, and, and uh, you know, that's an S tier product as well, but, um, yeah, knee glasses, S tier. Prismo, I think, is a solid, like, A tier product. I think I'm going to bump Third Wave Water to A as well. Aeropress Flow Control Cap, we had to bump down to B tier because it has a lot of variances on how it fits on things, and also it does not have a metal screen. Cupping spoon, I think is S tier because cupping spoon has multi functions, okay? You can RDT your beans with the cupping spoon. You can um, actually cup with the cupping spoon and you can actually, and you can uh, wet WDT with the cupping spoon. So it has multiple functions and, and that means it is, is pretty legit. I think A plus is a little generous for the puck screen as well. I think this is probably one of the nicest puck screens out there, but it is on the more expensive end. It's just really nice though. So I'm going to bump it around from A plus to A. I don't think, I don't think I'm going to do like plus or minuses for these. Timer B75, I think is an A tier product because you can um, get Anyone who says cupping soon is an S tier to quick coffee. <laughs> uh, I think this is an A tier product. The B75 is definitely A tier because uh, it's like you get the very, you get insanely fast flow out of a tiny little dripper. It's 13 bucks or something, 15 bucks. It's very, very cheap. Hario tabbed paper filters. Does anybody disagree with the F tier ranking? of do not buy. You can eat, you can, you can, 
eat your soup with a cupping spoon. You can eat cereal with a cupping spoon. But yes, um, I think the B75 deletes so many other drippers for the money. It's too good. I think CAFEC filters, uh, specifically T90, are S tier. I think a, a lot of them are S tier. Good stuff. Negotiator, I'm going to put A because Negotiator is a little too... It's, it's great, but it's a little too specific. Like, I can't use a Negotiator with a variety of brewing methods, and I cannot use a Negotiator on, um, you know, like, not the Oreo. The Hario tab is an insult to F tier. Oh, no. <laughs> Pullman Basket, I think is an A tier product. Bricks, I also, I, I think I'm happy with the Pullman being an A tier because for somebody who does not want to fuss around with paper filters, um, it will also add on here. It's, Porta filter papers. Flare just released Porta filter papers today, uh, and those look interesting. But I think Pullman gets you very, very far for twenty-two dollars. Bricks D tier. Bricks, the ones that you could buy in the under twenty-five dollar category, is just kind of, kind of like not good, or doesn't give you the accuracy that you may want, especially if you are, um, uh, you're trying to do lower TDS brews. Yes, you should get CAFEC filters. You will, you will enjoy your life a lot more. Okay, say one bag sub, S tier, S and W bags, S tier. TDS meter, I think is a B tier because, um, I don't know. Do we, well, we could bump this up. I will put a link to this later. So you can get, um, I have found some untabbed Hario paper filters at some Japanese supermarkets before. Just, you know, th that might be the last place you can buy them. Uh, Drip Assist, I've never used. Gabby, I, have, I haven't really ever used it either. Air S, I think is a B tier dripper. Like, I'd say B or C. I think B it feels high for um, f feels high for Origami Air S. Like, does this feel high? This feels high to me because the V60 exists, and and like the problem with the Air S that I find is it's just like, does it beat the B75 and does it beat the V60? Right? Like, you can use the flat. You can use. Um, wave filters in an origami air s you can use v60 filters in an air s but like why would you do that when you could just use a v60 or a b75 for the money <sighs> yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna move maybe let me let me move my camera air s is c okay yeah, I could agree with that. The only reason why you buy an Air S is if you want the colors, but you don't want to feel terrible when you drop it on the ground and it breaks into 5 million pieces. Okay. The Air Kettle, I also think is invalidated by today's techniques. Like, I think many people who are looking for... I just like, yes, I understand that it's a small space, but it's like, you still need another setup for it. Like you, you still got to get all your stuff anyway. You still have to have, you know, some way to boil water. And the challenge is that you might as well just use a spoon. Like if your goal is to get very, very high quality coffee, you don't, you just, you just pour water over whatever you're doing and you will accomplish and, and you know, in WDT, and you will accomplish high clarity brews. I shattered my original origami, it was pink. Dang, it's absolute tragedy. So I'm gonna put this as a C tier. 
Porta, pa Porta filter papers, I think are B, B tiered. Um, I have used, I think, Gabby B or A, like, I think, you know, they all, they all kind of work the same. They're all good. Like the mellow, this is the, the drip assist with the mellow drip. Microwave. <laughs> Yo, yeah, my, microwave can boil water. Yeah, but microwave is not, uh, well, okay, I guess you can find $20 microwaves. You can find $20 air fryers. Okay, all right, let's move on to under $50. And I, I have to list a bunch of stuff out. Okay, so Airscape, Atmos in here, uh, Aurea, April, Aeropress is here, Dog Bowl, WPM Pitcher, Mellow Drip. What else exists? Dude, I have the Java Press somewhere here. Let me let me see if it's still here. Holy. <laughs> Look at this. It still has the, by the way, it still has the major D's that I ground a while ago for that one video. Bye. <laughs> Dude, River Rocks. It's the the real River Rocks right there. We'll focus. This thing's a piece of shit. This is garbage. Don't buy this. I have that Major D's seasoning in here. Yeah, this thing, this thing is not good. Okay, we'll put it here. I don't have anywhere to put this, so we'll put it there. All right, I'll just make distributors F tier. Uh, Pulsar next level. How much is the is the Pulsar? Okay, it's sixty five. It's two. It's it has to go under here. Truck has to go here as well. I haven't played with the um. Oh God, Lotus Coffee, here we go. How much is this? 60, okay, 60 if you, so we have to, we have to bump it up here. So it's a Lotus water. Uh, Torch Mountain, Torch Donut. I can't rank, like, I'm not gonna rank, I'm not gonna try to rank stuff that I haven't used, you know? Like, I, I don't have the big boy, I, I'm not gonna know how, how, it, how it works. Okay. Normcore tamper, there's also the Normcore palm tamper that's basically the same thing. Okay, I think I will eventually fill out prices for this, but but for now, here let's do it this way. Let's do, let's just rank these first, and then we can go from there.
How much is an S Pro French press? Okay. P five hundred seventy. Oh, S Pro Bloom. Okay, I forgot. I forgot they had that. S Pro Bloom. Uh, what is the glass? I have I have this one in my kitchen. What's the glass one? I can't, I can't remember it right now. The glass, the glass pour over dripper. Glass pour over dripper. It's very pretty. I can't, I can't believe I, oh, here it is. The pure over. Pure over. How much is a pure? Holy shit. Wow. Their website is very pretty. 70, okay, it's a $70 dripper. Have to, we have to bump it up here. Uh, I'm gonna put D for that, because I that's like what I think the ranking is. <laughs> oh, is there a Bodum one? Do we want to rank Bodum stuff? I have, I actually have one of these, I think. The Bodum one? Oh wow, look at look at the colors. All right. Honestly, I have not drank French press in a while. Bodum French press. There's also this one. I've seen this one. I think they emailed me before. The Simply Press. This is actually kind of interesting where you can um you can like push the grounds out from the bottom. Okay, S Pro tra S Pro Travel. Let's look at S Pro. I haven't looked at S Pro's website in a while. Whoa, there's a sale right now. Travel French Press, $50, $45. Woo. The deals. Okay. I'll put it on here. It's on the list now. So, okay, let me go on here. Dog bowl, I don't know. Okay, so now we can start ranking. Yeah, we can have higher end glassware. So we can have Kruv, EQ, slash Propel. I think those are what they, they're called. We can also have Aurea Sense glass. We can have, um, you know, why am I doing this? I just look, I just go on here. Here we go. Shop by function. Can have the our sense cup here. I guess we can also put like not neutral Lino. Lino, not neutral Vero. Okay, all right, here we go. Okay, here we go. Aurea is an S tier because, well, okay, let me, let me, let me go to here. Okay, let me, let me do my initial rankings and it'll justify. Dog Bowl, B tier, WPM, A tier, A tier, S, S. C or B? I don't like it. I just, I don't, I don't like the Normcore tamper because it feels terrible to use. Like it just, it just, I don't know, man. But I think it's like the best value for what it is. I have the, the, 
the normal one, or someone took it from here, um, but they released the Palm one. I think the Palm one is going to be a lot better. I haven't tried that one yet, though. Oh, what is the Beagle Travel Kettle? Oh, yeah, okay. So, these ones... Um, and there, there's also the foldable kettle. Like I have the, they're they're all made in China. They all have the same, you know, it's like the same stuff, but rebranded um, by someone. Like I got these ones that you can fold. We'll throw in a foldable kettle here. We can eventually do, like you will eventually reach the branded stuff, like um, the packed, the packed kettle, I think the packed kettle is is really nice. I used to use the packed kettle a lot, the packed coffee kit, but now I don't really do this because uh, the travel kettle works really well and it's like $25 and you can get slightly higher temperature. So I think it's a little cooler. Okay. Let's do it this way. Aurea Plast, April Plastic. Oh, I guess now we have to clarify this. Uh, I have the V3, I love the Aurea V3. And the reason why I'm ranking it slightly higher than April Plastic is as much as I like April Plastic, right? I think these are super pretty. I think functionally speaking, this is, this is worse than the Aurea. Uh, the Aurea gives you so much more flexibility because of the negotiator. The Aurea flows faster. The Aurea is like, like I don't have to brew coffee in a specific way. Um, and I think the Aurea is much more flexible. And I think if you're a noob, Aurea, you will have probably a better time with an Aurea than something like an April. So I think that's, it should be ranked slightly, slightly higher. Yeah, the pact is also 200 bucks. That's that's another entire that's a, that's a, yeah, yeah. I agree. Um actually speaking of April, I got this in. We had a a local meetup and I bought this from Look at it. I just like these, you know, they, they make me feel good. Do they make better coffee than an Aurea? No, but they make me feel good and they look cool. I haven't opened this up yet. Let's take a look. Let's take a, let's take a break from ranking things. <laughs> Very cool packaging. Wow. Watch this just be like cracked. Oh, look at this. These. These are April filters. You can, you can, you can, I think, I think these are April filters. You can, you can kind of, they feel like much more rigid. They have this like, hear that versus. Versus these. Like listen to the, listen to the stiffness. Probably you probably you probably can't hear this, but the like look at look at how floppy that is versus this. Like if you do this, the uh, so that's the uh, like these are the April filters are a little nicer. Uh, I bought this for my friend, so he probably he just, I think he just put them in here for me. Open it up. Very cool. I hope I don't drop this. That's pretty. Does have that uh, sharper edge here. Definitely can tell it's not the most perfect thing in the world. But cool, we, we now have, um, I'm on a mission to collect them all. <laughs> uh, 
Will I use it? I don't know. It will just look pretty in the background. Because I actually think this is just straight up gonna be worse than any of the plastic ones. But it looks good. Okay, all right. Let's go back to the to the ranking list. They also kind of go a little crazy on the pack. Like, this is a lot of packaging. At least compared to the plastic one. So anyway, put that guy back here. So yeah, I, I think I think Oreo V3 is still a much more versatile uh, brewer. And also uh, the fact that V3 comes in a large also gives you significantly more flexibility um, than something like this. Like I can't, if I brew more than 18 grams in this, it is a feels bad. <clears throat> oh yes. So I do own the Mountain and Donut. Um, I also own the, uh, honestly, I, I don't even know where most of the stuff has gone. I think just people come over and they grab stuff. Um, I also own the bathtub one, the, the Simplify Brewer. And I think that is, that should be, these, these should be more than $25. Simplify Brewer Bathtub. Twenty four. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. So since you asked, um, the mountain is really nice because it's got it. It feels really cool to use. The problem with the mountain is that it stalls. Um, I've gotten that problem where basically the bottom of your paper filters really, really stick to the four holes on the bottom of the, um, mountain and it will just stall your brew completely. It basically will like create just a seal in the bottom of the dripper and it just doesn't flow as well as the, or, uh, Aurea, but it is, it does have that nice, I guess, feel whenever you're brewing it. Um, let me actually get the donut and show you the donut. I haven't used the donut a lot and I'm just dropping things everywhere. So I actually do have a bunch more drippers but this is the donut. And the problem with the donut and the mountain is this is really nice. It looks nice, but you might not be able to see it. It is not perfectly flat. This is a piece of wood and I've gotten multiple of these torch um, things. They feel great. Like, you know, you're just like, oh, this is a high quality thing. But the problem is, is that it's not straight. So when you're brewing um, with the mountain, you have to, and, and donut, you gotta be like, whoa, you know, this moves around and um, it could be quite annoying compared to something like an Aurea. So I would just use an Aurea at this point, unless you like colors. I guess like if you did not want the greatest temperature stability in the world and you did not want the super fast flow rate, like maybe you're brewing like dark stuff, mountain would be a good choice. Same thing with the donut. I also, but I actually think the donut is hilarious. Like, look at this thing. It's got the ridges. It's also glossy. See, it's got like that, that gloss to it. And then this is your S Pro Bloom, which um, you can use the paper filters. You can also use it without paper filters. It is kind of invalidates the pure over, but you know, I think the mountain is like a B tier. B. These are all, these are just like, meh. I guess we're gonna give the S Pro Travel French Press an A. 
I think Kruvs are, are definitely A. I think Aurea's uh, Scents Glass is an A-tier product. I also think the Scents... Scents Cup, I have to give it a B. Because the Scents, or the Sensory Cup, uh, which is somewhere over there, it stains. Um, and also, brewing into it, your brew is just way, way too hot. Uh, when you compare it to things like MK cups and all of that that are also ceramic, it's just the the sensory glass. I just I'm not too I'm not too convinced by it. Um, I like the performance. I like the colors, but it stains. Like the inside is hard to clean, um, and it your coffee is just way too hot coming out of it. Normcore. Ugh, I'm like, I'm like really, really digging into the weeds here. Okay, what do these guys have? Everybody just has the same products. You know, these are all the same. Camping mat. This thing is kind of bad, I think. I'm interested in this though. Where where did it go? I think this is good. I have broken one Aurea sense glass. Cafe filters, I think T90 dark are the best. Oh, I guess I'll add this one in here too. I have to give this like a B tier because the SenseCraft is is great, but the problem with the SenseCraft is that you hold that thing, it doesn't have hand it doesn't have a handle. You will burn your fingers on it. The Happy Tamper, isn't the Happy Tamper more expensive than this? How much is this guy? Yeah, we are, our Happy Tamper is too expensive for, for this. We have, to, we have to create a new category. Tamper. I also do not have my Happy Tamper anymore. Someone has uh, taken it. I don't have a lot of things anymore. Ever use the Kalita 155? Yes, uh, I've used a few of the Kalita 155s. The reason why I don't like the Kalita 155s is because I think they clog, um, they stall, and that's where the April has solved that by having a little bit of those fins on the inside. You can see my messed up version one. Um, yeah, it's gotten a lot better if you want that style of brew without stalling. I do really like the Happy because you can adjust the the tamping pressure, but I think my favorite is still this one, the normal dose. And uh, I, you know, I've been using this guy for a while and I, this is still my favorite. I don't think it's, it's as fun as the Force, um, but it is, this, this makes me feel good when I'm using this, but it's not as fun. I have never used the Etkin drippers, so I do not know. How much are they? Don't they have the real big one? They got the, oh my God, eight cups. Okay, we'll put the, I mean, maybe I'll buy one. I just, I just don't know. I haven't bought a lot. Like, I, I, I don't know why I would buy one of these when I have, some of these other ones. It's like, it's like a lot of these drippers are all pretty good. Atkin dripper. How much is a fellow like Stag X dripper? 
60. Okay, we can't put it on the list. It's too expensive. Uh, we have to put it into here. Stag X. I think the stag glasses are like a C tier for me. They just break. Um, and they are double walled. So yes, they hold coffee really for, like, how much are these stag glasses? It's cool that you can get two of them for 40, so it's a good value, but I think it's a C-tier product for me because I am not somebody who likes their coffee to be too, too hot, and um, I have just broken way too many of these. Yeah, Oreo has a big boy now. Wait, I'm, I, I was on the wrong camera. I don't know, haven't used before. A, A, A. Actually, okay, this is the this is the not latte artist of me that's going to complain. Um, is that the Lino? The Lino is really fun to pour into, but because it has the lip that goes over, if you have any sort of surface tension, your entire milk will just get sucked to the handle and it will fall off. And that is the not latte artist. You know, I'm a, I'm a latte artist, right? Okay. Hold on. So yeah, I think I'm happy with these rankings so far. Simplify is kind of like a C tier thing. Or like, okay, if you brew the Simplify the way that they want you to brew it, it you will get one TDS. You will get you will get low extraction brews. But if you unlock, you think outside the box and you don't follow the way they tell you to brew, it is it is much better. Atkin Dripper, I don't know. Like what is it? What, what, what makes this unique? Like why? Like what is what is the appeal of this? Can somebody explain this? Okay, it's made of porcelain. This looks like something that's gonna break. I have only had my Etkin two cup coffee dripper for around two weeks, but I have lots of. Okay, um, I've learned something. The egg is really cool. Isn't it here? I broke mine yesterday. <laughs> I literally broke this yesterday. Is this? <laughs> I literally, I dropped it on the ground and it broke. This happened yesterday, right after I ended the stream. It was an absolute tragedy. Uh, oh, yes, the S tier craft is this one. Hold on. Right here, 
I got you. Yo, these are on sale. $23? What? Okay, this is this is S tier, by the way. Hold on, I got I got I gotta add this in here. This this is a hundred percent an S tier product. S. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna I'm gonna sh I'm gonna shill an affiliate link in the uh, in this in this chat right here. This is amazing. Um, that's what this craft is here. It's so good. I showed this off yesterday. I threw it on the table yesterday, and it is amazing it is it's made a triton it's this one this is the s tier craft right here the only downside of this craft is that it's made of plastic so uh your temperatures are gonna you know if you if, if you want to have higher temperatures this could be you know worse for your enjoyment of coffee but your life will be so much better when you realize that you cannot break it. See, I can just I can do stuff like this. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Spill coffee everywhere. But yeah, you can you can do stuff like this with this and it just won't break and you will feel it is just great. So yeah, would buy. I still like the, so I had so, somebody complain to me about the, the Glenn Karn, Glenn, the, the other ones. And they, or like somebody had this one also, the neat one, and then those, and he, they, they were like, I've tried those, and they didn't just, did not enjoy them as much as the neat ones. And I've just, I just really like the neat ones. But I've I've totally kind of swapped over to um, you know I just I've stopped using these glass crafts. They just it just doesn't make sense for me anymore um, because I just don't want to break things. Um, it's just like it's a pain when you break when you break any glassware. Uh, but also what I will say though is the Aurea Sense glass and the Neat Whiskey. Uh, glasses here. These are all quite durable. This one, by the way, though, is crystal. So I, I think it is even more durable than their normal glass ones. It's, it's, it feels a little thicker, and I think it's heavier as well. So it's been great. Okay. Let's go back on the list. So, okay, King Rider K0. Do we disagree or agree with the S tier ranking? I think for $34, or, or I guess like my question is, are there other sub $50 grinders? Not meme grinders like the Java Press, okay? Not meme grinders like the Java Press or Skirton, but like legit ones like this King Grinder. Are there any that can rival this? Eventually I will, I'll, I'll put out a, a, a sharing link for this. Like I'll do a view only of it in, in uh, probably later today when I'm done with this or, or, or however far we get in the next hour. I think I'll probably, I probably will end up uh, ending the stream in around, in around an hour. Um, I think I'm, I, my goal is to try to stream most of these nights until we finish this list. This is important stuff, you know. We gotta, we gotta, uh, you know, very important uh, coffee things. 
I, it's just also a lot of fun for me to hang out with you guys and um, build lists together, you know? Like, this is what you can do when you're not brewing coffee, or, like, this is what I can do in a, at least, like, when I'm not trying to record videos and talk about stuff that you can't even taste on camera. Like, you, you know, you can't taste what I'm tasting unless you're here with me. Um, but I can, I can do stuff like this, and I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, so, King Rider K0. $34. This is good. Aeropress and Aeropress Clear. As much as I dislike the price increase that the Aeropress has gotten, I still think the Aeropress is an S tier product because you can make super amazing coffee with an Aeropress. This is this is just undisputed. You can do so much with an Aeropress, it is ridiculous. Um, and as much as the clear is nicer, you know, and it's 50 bucks, I think it's, it's good. But again, keep in mind, like if you're, you get, you're buying a Prismo or a flow control cap in an Aeropress, we're talking 65, $75. It, it, it's getting up there. The dog bowl. The dog bowl is the Chiado hoop. <laughs> um, the dog bowl is like definitely a B tier product. It's, it's, it's okay. It, or I'll just, I'll just like see here. I'll, I'll, I'll C tier it. B, B feels a little generous. Um, yeah, it's easy as hell to use, but, um, I think the, I think just some of the cleaning is a little weird. I don't like that the channels of where the water comes out, grounds can just go back into them and Anything that can potentially clog, have like clogs like that, I think are just, it's just very frustrating. WPM pitcher, I have to A tier it. Uh, these are awesome. I'm not, a, I'm, not, I'm not that good at latte art, but whenever I do any sort of milk steaming, which almost never happens, uh, I find that I pour a lot better on WPM. And I think the reason why is because WPM has the taller lip. So like whenever I'm pouring latte art, I feel like I have to commit. And it's like, you have to pour, you have to commit and pour all the way over. And that seems to make it so that you actually get some really, really nice uh, flow rate out and you can do these designs and whatever. I think the Mellow Drip is also an A tier product as well because you have a lot of control over whatever you're doing. And um, it's another way to brew. It's, it kind of, to me, has the same tier as like the flow control cap and all of that. Uh, and Prismo, which is like, this can, this little piece of plastic can take your brews to the next level, or more so it serves a lot of functionality um, across many different brewers. Like you can use this on an AeroPress, you can use this on like any of these pour over drippers. And uh, there are even things like the drip assist, which is what this thing is. Uh, and I think these work out really well. The vacuum suction pour over device is the cup demo. The cup demo is I think a bit more expensive than this and it's also really nice. A tier. I think the Switch and Clever are both really, really good. I have not used the Clever ever. I've used the Switch a few times. Oh, we gotta add the Nano Foamer. Okay, I'm gonna add the Nano Foamer. Yeah, also guys, I need more, I need more stuff in here. I think our under $50 list is a little lacking compared to our $25 list. And of course, there are like a million of these products, so we, we just we, we can add as many things on here. Nano Foamer is quite nice. Um, I've actually never gotten the problem that people have gotten with the Nano Foamer, where I think people were, were saying the, the battery is like not as powerful as they would want it to be. But I was, I mean, I, I'm using like Harbor Freight batteries in it, and my Nano Foamer is working completely fine, so I have no idea. 
Okay, I guess we can also add like stuff like this, mocha pot. I think the nano foamer for cold foam is really great. Uh, like AD has said here, but the nano foamer workflow is still a little annoying. Um, it is, I think if I never used a steam wand ever, or like, I, I take that back. I, if I never used a consistent steam wand, um, I would, I would be okay with the nano foamer. I would be okay with the amount of work and the microwave and all that setup that you need to make the nano foamer work. If I never use a steam wand ever, I would be happy with that. But I would still, I think having used something like the Decent, the Sylvia, my version three Sylvia from 2005, uh, you know, there's consistent steam there, it's great. But if I were to compare something like Gaja Classic Pro, which I hate the Gaja Classic Pro so much. I just like, I, I, I have to, I, I don't know. Gaja Classic Pro, the Gaja Classic Pro has made me appreciate every single other espresso machine out there, regardless of price point. Um, I would still take the, I would take Nano Foamer over the Yager Classic Pro when it comes to steaming. Shot mirrors? Okay. I don't know. Like some of these, it's like, does the brand really matter? Do we care that it, like, do, like does this do anything different than what a, like a flare shot mirror or the nor a normal shot mirror? Yeah, heating milk is, um, is frustrating. Oh, this is exact. Okay. Wait, how much is it? $60 or $41? How much? You also have clones like the Barista Warrior. Okay, we can put this on here. Damn, that is ugly. <laughs> What? Some of these kettles are pretty, pretty, pretty ugly looking is what I'll say. The way the mirror pivots is key. I have the flare shot mirror as well. I've never tried the norm core one. Norm core. Ooh, interesting. So what is, so it, it, it can rotate 360, interesting. Okay, so you, you like stick it onto something and then you like, ah, very cool. All right, this, 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 this looks like it's a good product. Oh yeah, I should just, I should just make uh, another sheet. See, you guys are smarter than me. It's also late, it's like after work. I've had a long day. Now it's, see, I'm just, I'm just doing more work. I spend, I spend my, my day in spreadsheets and now I spend more of my day in spreadsheets. <laughs> it really do be like that. Okay. Uh, yes. Good. Great idea. The reason why I had it in like one big list is because some of the products, the pricing has really changed and I'm kind of just like jumping around uh, all of them.
Do I work in the coffee business? Yes, I work in the coffee business. <sighs> I, I, I don't know if this, this is something that I can recommend to everyone, but I'm very happy with where I'm at. I do have some other stuff I'm working on outside of my full-time job, but... Okay, see, now I have to readjust the camera. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Or I, I gotta, I have to, I have to change my camera position because our spreadsheet is here. Okay, I will fix the formatting on this uh, when we, when I do um, publish this out for you guys. All right, I'm gonna go grab some water. I will be back. You know, something that I completely forgot about. It's actually these guys, the, the Carter mugs and the million lids that exist for this thing. How much are, how much are these lids now? Okay, 50 bucks. You can get all three. That's not bad. Uh, okay. Okay. So many of these lids. Okay, alright, alright. I gotta put the mug in here. I gotta add this here. Carter. Um, which one is this one? Does anybody know what brand this one is? Or, I mean, it probably says on here. I haven't opened it yet. Is this by, there's like a company called Created? Created? Create, 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 created? I, I don't know. Or Stoke? I've no I I do not know which one what which one is this? I feel like I've seen these ones. There's oh this might be the Kinto one. Okay. Honestly, I don't know. I just have a lot of random stuff, but Okay, Kinto. Thank you. How much is that? I think it's a travel tumbler. 34 okay. Kinto Travel Tumblr. There's also this company. And then, uh, damn. Okay, Caleb, if you're in the chat, you will know, you will know what is that brand that you really like. That one's really good. I follow them on Instagram. I have no, it, it's, there's like another brand that's really good. It's also a Bay Area company. Oh yeah, Mirror's pretty good. So, I like the Carter a lot, but I think two, I think like the 360 lid is not good uh, compared to the other lids. I think the other lids are much better. So, but I think the actual Carter itself is an A tier product. This is also a, I think these are, I was like, okay. Kind of getting really in the 
it's like the issue with some of these is that like the a lot of these companies have created systems like accessories for a single thing and and that makes it hard for me to rank some of them it's like oh yeah purist yes purist is the one i saw a purist one i was this is like i i love like caleb my coworker, my friend showed it to me and he was like you can do all this stuff with the purist mug and i was like Wow, this invalidates all of my other all of my other ones. Like let's look let's look at this thing. Look at this thing. It is on the pricier side. I don't know if it's this one. Yeah, okay. I think he had the scope top on this. Is it's like you can um you can you can basically keep things covered and then when you just turn it it becomes open i have not used the mirror stuff or i think i did get the created one like some of this stuff is just like people hand this stuff out at coffee expos it just exists and you know I don't know, like this is what that third, this is what this third wave water one is from, but I might switch to this one, but it's just like, I'm not really taking things outside all that often, at least coffee. So I don't really care too much that it's like hot or whatever. And also it's like, the only time I would use this is like if I'm driving and I can't really like unscrew stuff when I'm driving. So, you know, and also, yeah, I don't know. It's the is it's like it's it's the mug meta. <laughs> so I think the nano tier na nano foamer is a B tier product because it works really well if you get the hang of it, but there is a massive learning curve. It is very difficult to clean. I think the Chemex is is like a D tier brewer. Does that upset someone? <laughs> um, the Chemex, the thing is, is like, so the Chemex was like my, my first ever pour over anything and is just frustrating to use. It's like, I had the brown Chemex paper filters and it was just not fun. Um, also it's glass. So you had to like be careful of, of a lot of different um you know it's like i can't i don't want to break it or anything atkin dripper i don't know i mean like this just this just looks like like they all look the same man they all all of these all of these you can i, I swear you can brew good coffee on like all of these drippers i don't know what the like, what is the argument for, for why this is better? Like, this just seems, this just seems like it does. It's like, why would I use this when I can use an Aurea is like my question. I understand the eight cup. I don't understand the two cup. Because I also feel like this is something that's going to break. And does it use proprietary filter? Are these proprietary filters? Okay, no, they're they're 155. Okay, but it's like, if you guys ever taken like a, like your a, a ceramic Kalita, I guess I had the April and you like, you like rub it against something, it just feels bad. So I don't know, I haven't used one before. I'm just speculating and I'm looking at this and I'm like, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. It is very pretty though. I do yes, it is it is it is pretty.
Well, so, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying the the nanoformer itself is dirty. I'm saying the workflow is annoying. Like, you have to, you have to basically uh, take it from one, like, you microwave or you heat up something um, with the milk. Then you nanofoamer it. That, you know, then you have to take that and put it into the flow, flow tip jar. And then you nanofoamer it in there. So it's two things, three things you have to clean. And that is what has annoyed me with the nanofoamer. Is like, if I could just microwave the flow tip jar, I don't think you can do that, or you shouldn't do that, then, then yeah. Oh, the Breville knockbox is really good. I can I can agree with this. Breville knockbox. Are there any like knockbox innovations? This is actually quite nice though. Uh, I do think this is a good product. It works with your Breville dual boiler, which is now discontinued. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop it. I think. C, okay. Like these are all just like mediocre in my opinion, right? It is like C is not necessarily a bad rating, okay? C is just like it's it's okay. Okay, yo, how much is the puck sucker? Uh, I, some of my friends did get the puck sucker in. The challenge with the puck sucker is I think it only worked with um, the Breville portafilters. So uh, actually it was Jay Kim, uh, Jay Kim who makes the WDT tool. He got he got it in because you could like farm Breville points or something, you know, with, with beans.com. Um, and, and, um, oh my God. And and I think you he took his decent porta filter and the decent porta filter would not fit in the puck sucker. So we he he returned it. I have not used a lot of mocha pot ever, so I don't really have an opinion. Uh, oh, sensory cup grades here. Okay, so this is kind of my thought right now. Um, it's not, you know, I gotta, I have to spend some time, I could do this on the stream, I don't really feel like doing it right now, uh, but it's, I have to uh, add the product, product type to all of these, and then a price, and then like kind of, you know, it's like, do you want it or not? Um, I can also like kind of come up with like we could probably do the same thing for grinders eventually is like you know we, we have to we have to have like additional context for what the ranking is okay like we gotta we have to we have to do like this okay all right we gotta look at we gotta look at Critical's, Critical's list okay you gotta look at his list right and you have to be and he does what am I doing here this will load right like I getting ads right here okay see he he ha he has additional rankings in context right he has like like there's there's additional context for like um a rank a value rating at price and and some additional detail details about the rankings okay so we so we, we got to eventually add the, those into here but um yeah so this is kind of what i think right now of just glassware is i think the crew stuff a tier um, especially the big ones, like those ones are good. Also, uh, I have to try these guys out eventually, but like the Ecosa brew house stuff, um, this one looks really good. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, actually, if anyone's tried this, I'm pretty sure this accomplishes the same stuff as, uh, these guys, but I like... I like the what these two ones on the left there. Okay. Yeah, like the EQ. I these ones, these ones like 
make you drink coffee confidently because they're 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 goofy shaped. These things are huge. Look how big look 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 how big this thing is, man. It's like it just feels really goofy to hold. Uh, but it's it's like you have a brewed coffee in it and you're like drinking it from this thing. Um, and the sensory experience is really good. So I think it's A tier. I also think the Aurea Sense Glass is A um, because it accomplishes a lot of what the Kruv does, but it's single walled. Coffee cools down a much faster in it, so you can enjoy the um, enjoy the flavors a lot faster. I've also <laughs> yo is he double fisting? Yeah, wait, 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 what's going on here? <laughs> yo. <laughs> He's got both. Uh, hey, to be fair, they do things different, okay? One excites you, and the other inspires you. <laughs> yeah, for the big aromatics. No, 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 okay. Okay, Jay, we're ranking stuff on price, okay? We're on the, we're on the, the 25, we have to do the 25 to 50 dollar, okay? We, we're, we're, we're still in here. The, the, the S tier, S tier one is here. Okay, to be fair, like it depends on how many of these you buy, but the, the neat glass is here. Cause it's, you know, S tier. It is, is S tier, okay? It, it is in there. Okay, I'm catching up on chat. One sec, guys. Puck sucker. Oh my god, we have a lot of puck sucker comments. I'm using a different browser here. Don't have the ad blocker installed. Yeah, so I'm really interested in trying the uh, Vensi stuff. Um, I actually just got connected with them uh, very recently because I think they are a cool company. Very cool. Um, so we'll see. Let's see. Doubled wall glasses look so opinion. My, yeah, they, I, I think they do look kind of goofy. Um, I think it also depends on like what angle you're looking at them from. You know, like when you're doing stuff like this, it's a little goofy, okay? Like, like you know, look at this. Little, 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 little goofy. <laughs> if I'm buying both cups, then I'm using both cups, yes. Uh, yeah, origami, here, I'll grab it. I'll grab stuff for you guys. Okay, hold on, there's more. There's more. I got it, I got it. I gotta get them all out. All right, see if we can fit, fit all these in the frame. Specifically uh, for espresso, I think the neat glasses are the best, okay? I think these are the best. Find me on that. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see if I can, how, how do I, how do I do this? There's so much, so much stuff. I don't know if I, the camera can catch everything. One, one moment, I gotta move stuff around.
Okay. Entertainment for you all. See, see how how much the Let me see if I can if we can see all of these. Okay. What do I have here? Okay, uh, let's see. Can you guys see? You guys can't, okay, you guys can barely see these at the back. Any cupping bowl? Uh. Suited pink cup is actually really good. I, I actually. Okay, here we go. Let me go through these cups because we, we kind of have some of these cups on the list here. Uh, there are some cups that are a little too expensive and cheaper on here, but I might as well go over that as well. So, uh, let's see. These actually are really good. So the, this one here, I, I have to add it on the list. I just don't know easily to add, like, you know, where, where do we add them, but uh, I'm gonna go over, let's start off here. Let's start with the espresso stuff. Um, so I think this is the best glass for espresso, hands down. This is the neat whiskey competition glass. Uh, I guess I'll link it in here. Feel free to, feel free to buy them. Hey, if you do buy them from this link, I will, I will get some pennies. I think I'll get pennies. So I think these are the best for espresso. There is kind of just this unmatched aromatic experience. And also when you are drinking coffee out of them, it has this like super wide lip here and it basically mimics what a cupping spoon is doing, where you're getting that additional aeration and it just makes it so that you get so much more of the brew unlocked, like the flavors of your coffee unlocked. So I really enjoy this. Um, other espresso cups, which are more like they're okay, they're espresso, is, um, yeah, I mean, I could add an affiliate link and, all of that. Yeah, I, I know it's going to be a mess to do later on. I mean, I could just put you guys through that and I could just add links and prices to everything. Um, but, you know, I will make pennies off of this. I don't, it's not, you know, it's like whatever. It doesn't matter um, uh, to me too much. So I forgot I had this. <laughs> This is, um, this will make your dark roast taste better. <laughs> so these styles where they're the super, like look at how thick. This is so thick compared to, the, uh, this by the way is a not neutral Lino, but this is a um, espresso tiny one here. Look how thin the lip is on here versus here. So this is kind of the difference between like a lot a lot of the, um, I guess like American espresso versus true Italian espresso is you do the thick stuff here. Um, and you know, it only fits, I think 30 ish mils. You can fit like 50 something into this guy. So it's a lot different here, right? <laughs> um, so yeah, it's it's thick, it's good for your dark roast, it looks pretty. Um, if you want something that's not bad, also, I used to use the Montes a lot more because these you can fit large ratios. I actually really like the lip here, but there is actually a lot of variance between these. Is like you can buy multiple sets of Montes and like the lips are gonna be very uh, different and that's just kind of what I've experienced with a lot of ceramics. So 
I've really swapped over to these because these are just a lot better. Um, I've actually also really been enjoying this cup. This is the Glitch Soba Choco cup from uh, Japanese roaster Glitch. These actually work really well for something like tiny cortados. I find I like pouring a lot more into these now. Um, I don't have, I don't really make them many milk drinks anyway. Um, but yeah, we have these guys too. So we have the not neutral Lino, and then we also have the Acme uh, Evo. Both are really great, I think, for most people. And then you got the these guys. So I like the sensory glass a lot, but I have another one, and the inside has gotten stained. Like I can't clean stuff off for some reason in there. And I think this it's gonna happen to this one. My other challenge with this versus this, this is obviously much more expensive. This is the M MK Studios one, is um, this guy here does not hold heat as much as the origami. So I do like the glossiness of the origami. It is, it is hefty. Um, I also think the aromatics do collect a little bit more in this and then they kind of like come out at you uh, versus the MK. Or this is this is an Oreo Sense glass, but it's just uh, MK. It it um it just the brew is too hot on this guy, uh, but you can brew larger volume. Uh, it is it's pretty, but I think it doesn't like I I don't like the it doesn't make me feel as good when I'm like holding it. I guess I don't know. I like this one a lot. This is still my favorite cup here. MK Studios. Very cool. Yeah. You know. No, it's like you need to kafiza your mug. Like if you have that stain in here, but it's like a black stain. It's not like a coffee stain. I mean, I guess you can kafiza your mug, but it's like I had. I I've only used my other one. I've only used for like. A few months and then it like stained like crazy and I was like I don't know it just, I, it just like doesn't feel like that feel it don't make you feel as good but yeah I think this is the best one just by these uh, will I get an MK dripper I have no idea um, I feel like I have too many drippers they, they you know they all they all make great coffee Kafiza S tier okay yeah we can add cleaning supplies later we'll get there I'm gonna put some of these away. I'll keep the Sokka cup here for fun. Uh, okay. Your fellow Monty's got water in them? Dang, that's... I don't think you're supposed to dishwash them, um, if I remember correctly. Yes, I, I mean, I have the Onyx cupping spoon. That is the one that I use. Yeah, I use this, this one, see if it focuses. See, it's got, it's got a skull. 
on there. <laughs> um, and yeah, I use the Onyx one a lot. See? So this one's great. Okay. Oh yeah, there is an AliExpress Aurea. I also have the multicolor one. Yeah, so like these ones are um, fantastic. And they're made by Ume Shiso. Let me see, Ume Shiso. I have a light here, so I might not focus. I have to block my face here, oh, focus. Here we go. This brand here, Ume Shiso. Okay. I like, I think the, uh, the, some of the best stuff for filter is going to definitely be these here. I think the sense glass is really good for filter. I think the, also the, uh, I guess inspire is also really good for filter. I like the the Kruv one, and then and then we you know if we're ranking it like this, we also can give the uh, Ecosa one, which I haven't used yet, but also a because they, they're they're the same in terms of giving you that sensory experience. It's like. Oh, uh, if, if, if I go down the AliExpress route, this is going to take a year. There, there are so many, um, AliExpress clones of stuff and some of them are high key, really, really good. There's also some stuff too, um, coming out in terms of like drippers that are from China and Taiwan and all of those. And, 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 uh, those are also going to be very interesting. I do like the neat glass for filter because um, it is small. Um, I think they all work really well, honestly. It the, a big reason why I actually do like the neat glass though, again, is for, for filter. Uh, I'll say this specifically for filter is because when you sip it, it's it's basically like if you sipped through here. It's like it's like the same kind of effect that occurs with the aeration. Um, and you don't need to even purposely try to sip it. Uh, you know, you don't need to make the noises or anything. Um, and it will help aerate and it, it's pretty good. There is, there's like some drama with, um, a, a Chinese company that has, uh, with like the new V4 or V, whatever the Aurea is like, I don't know. It's people, people are, are, um, talking about stuff. Buy the cups. Use my link. Get me some pennies. I, my Hario tab filters do not drain fast. They 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 are complete hell to use. Uh, yeah, the there is the new basket filter with the the base plates and all that. I'm actually gonna make a video about it with Sheldon. Uh, I just need to drive over to his house and figure out when I'm free and and go over there. Um, and we'll be we'll probably make one of those. The AliExpress Waffle clone is. Uh, it depends on which one, okay? I honestly, the Mischief one is actually pretty good. The Mischief Spirit and Classic are actually pretty good. They do they do kind of deform really aggressively, but there's like another one. It was like when those clones were coming out at the very beginning, you could take it. If you find like, there's like a stream I did a, a few months ago. It's like, you could take it and you could literally just like bend the basket with your, with your fingers. It was like, it's like th there is a reason why 
these baskets are the prices they are um, is that they're not going to flex as much. And uh, we're, I think people, I think I saw some post of some guy complaining about his Normcore one where it's like really flexing, like the pucks when you knock them out, they're not, per, they're not like there's aggressive bending on them. Now I don't know if that is going to do too much to your ending result in cup, but it just kind of feels bad when you buy a basket and you can like bend it with your fingers. The cupping, um, I think I use, which one of these guys? These are the Barista Hustle ones, right? I think. A lot of the stuff that I have is just like, some guys in the uh, local community just hand it to me. And, you know, I, I, I have no clue what where it is, what it is at times. Um, yeah, there are other water options like uh, third wave. Yeah, there's like holy water, there's lotus, there is uh, aqua code. There's like a lot of stuff. Third wave water, so so third wave water is actually pretty convenient. If you if you want light roast stuff, what you do with third wave water, and this is why I will continue to recommend, is uh, you just make sure you brew your one gallon distilled of third wave water, and then you take another gallon of distilled water and you just dilute this down to like one third. So like if, you, if you're doing your espresso machine or kettle or whatever, just dilute it down to like a half, a third, you'll have a good time. Holy water is pretty good. I'll rank a knockbox B. I I don't know. I don't really use any of these, so I, I cannot I cannot tell you if these are good. But okay, let's go through let's go through the list, and I think I might wrap up soon because uh, we've been chatting for a while. DIY tier, yeah, of course, of course, you want a DIY tier list. <laughs> Okay, King Grinder K0, entry level product, get people into the door, get them in, in like, for $34, you could buy Skirtin or you could buy K0. You know, it's pretty good, pretty good. Aeropress S tier, you cannot get better performance for that. Um, we've gone through all of these. So I think the switch is an S tier. It's, it's definitely S tier. Same thing with the clever. Um, very, very difficult to mess up. Very high quality cups coming out of it. And the nice thing too, is you can start tapping into using uh, different paper filters as well. Uh, for people using Hario switch, you can do stuff like using the Cafec light roast paper filters where, um, those flow so long and tapping into playing around with those more immersion styles of brews. And then uh, even going with something like Sybaris, like Sybaris in Switch is also very interesting. Uh, so it's, so I think this is a 100% a, a, a fantastic, you know, S tier product. Normcore Tamper V4, the reason why I rank it B is it just, there is massive tolerance, like they're just tolerance problems. Like they're build problems with this thing. Um, it, 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 it also like, you know, when you're using the tamper, it just feels like the metal scraping on each other. For the money, I think it's, it's very, very good value, but it just doesn't feel like a well-built product. Um, and I think the reason, and, and I think this probably does not occur so much in the Normcore palm tamper version of this, which I think is a little bit better. 
We have, uh, we do have some of those kettles here, like the foldable kettle. I think the foldable kettle is on here. Yeah, the foldable kettle travel, travel kettle is, uh, is definitely on here. I like the blue one because you can get pretty high temperatures. It folds and you can actually use the spout really well for even some, and you combine it with a cupping spoon and you can brew AeroPress, you can brew a lot of the different things. Uh, the Esther tampers are definitely not going to be near here on the pricing, for, but definitely things like the normal dose, the Laube tamper, uh, the force tamper, things like that, I think are, are significantly better. But they're also way, way more expensive. Um, we're not going to find, I don't think we're going to find a lot of S in for like, here's the thing is I think I would like anything ranking C like B and above at these price points, like we're look at like they're 25 to $50. Okay. It's a, it's definitely punching above its weight. Um, you, you already are getting 95, 99, 95 to literally like 99% of the experience of what this style of product can bring to the table. Uh, when we go up in price for like pieces of metal, tampers and drippers and all that stuff, it's gonna, it, it's like, you're, it's diminishing returns, okay? It's not gonna make better coffee. It is definitely, you know, these are things that are just, like at this point in time, things that you actually touch and interact with at this price point, they are already really, really good. It's gonna serve the exact same function. What you are eventually paying for with most of these is the actual user experience. Does it feel good to use? Does it, is it ridiculously consistent? Um, is it, you know, easier to use in any sort of way, right? It's not gonna really be like, does this do something better? That's my argument, at least. At least for stuff like campers, WDT tools, um, drippers, you know, like, is it gonna, is it going to make, like, you know, this is how, this is like how far you need to go now, you know, is like 50 bucks will get you very far in most categories of coffee products with maybe the exception of grinders and machines and whatever. But like in terms of accessories and supporting pieces of the pieces of the equipment to like make coffee, uh, it's all good. Someone telling you your coffee is good is free and an S tier rating. Yes, I agree. I too think I sometimes brew good coffee. Uh, Bright, unfortunately, has to be demoted from the under fifty dollar tier list because it is uh, it is now ninety dollars, and we have to we have to move it to here. It is an absolute tragedy that it the the bright oh, the bright is expensive now. I just cannot believe the bribe is $90. That's insane. What happened? What happened? There are already so many Moonraker clones. There is, uh, what is the one from Taiwan? There's like another one that is, that is also, um, I think it's also metal. But let me keep going down the list. I think distributors suck. Just WDT and you will have a great time. Oreo V3, I think is S tier. So uh, there was a question about what are the S tier drippers? I think Oreo is S tier. April, again, the reason why I put April as A is because the April is less flexible and versatile compared to the Oreo. The fact that you can use any paper filter in an Oreo with a negotiator is is absolutely amazing. And also the Oreo comes in a larger size. The Oreo also technically has more options in terms of colors. And also the Oreo um, flows faster. It's less 
paper filter dependent at this point. Whereas like the April, I've definitely gotten moments where uh, it is it just will stall. Um, now it won't stall as much as something like, in my opinion, a Kalita, but it still can be frustrating and you cannot brew coffee like you can, it's not as versatile as the Oreo in terms of recipes and the way you brew uh, because you can't do a semi-hybrid, no bypass type of situation. I have not tried the glass Oreo yet. Um, yeah, it really do. Be, it really do be like that D tier flower vase. Tragedy. Um, the Moonraker is consistent. That's the thing. Is like any tool that brings consistency is gonna be a big plus um, because I high key think that most people cannot mess up sticking a tool onto their portafilter and spinning it multiple times. That is just by default gonna make a much more consistent uh, bed versus, or your puck versus UWDT. Of course, UWDT, you have much more control over uh, the different depths, especially, you know, you can do like however many depths you want versus a lot of these WDT tools is like you have two or three different depths. It's not as good, but it's much more consistent than you will ever be. Maybe, um, I still am learning. I'm still figuring this out. Because you can pour in the center, right? Like you can pour, you can pour here and you can pour on the outsides. So you can do so many different variations of mellow drip lift with an Oreo. And it is, it is, it is a uh, complete hell. <laughs> Oh, what is the dog bowl? The dog bowl is the Chiato hoop. <laughs> Torch Mountain. I think I'm going to still demote the Torch Mountain to C. And I'll also demote the donut to C. I don't, I cannot see a reason why you would buy a mountain when something like the Aurea exists. Um, and also when you have like the April. Uh, the mountain is just a little finicky. It stalls. It is. It's beautiful though, it makes me feel good, it's pretty, um, but it's not as, uh, not as nice. The Porky Press is actually really, really helpful. Um, the Porky Press will let you grind f even finer and, and tr pull certain, like very niche styles of shots uh, over, you know, if you like don't Porky Press versus Porky Press. Um, it is wildly complicated to explain, um, but the benefit, the tangible, the tangible benefit that I have found is that at certain micron sizes, like we're talking very, very fine grind, if you pork you press versus not pork you press, this is the difference between um, like a 15 second long shot and a 20 second long shot, which can matter at if, if you have very specific styles of presenting whatever coffee you want to present. Um, is it will change the way the water flows through the puck. Um, is that good or bad? You know, it's very subjective at that point, but it does have a, t a, a functional benefit of it does change the way the water flows through the puck. Um, and that could be good or bad. Like, But at the end of the day, that is splitting hairs. But like nowadays you can do meme stuff. Like you can grind... Incredible, incredibly, incredibly fine. You can pork you press. You can then uh, three thousand hole paper filter bottom hole ba uh, basket, and you can pull dumb high extraction espresso, and it's really cool. You can pull some piss, and it's gonna be good. Uh, yeah, S Pro Bloom. I am gonna need to drop that to a C, maybe maybe D. The reason why is because look at this thing, man. It's got stuff clogged into it. So 
I think I'm gonna put this in the same thing. I think the travel kettle, travel French press looks really good. Propel, glassware, A tier, Ecosip, A tier. These are all A. We've already kind of covered what these are in terms of rankings. Just a lot of meh products here. You know, when I say C in the context of this, I think C is like good, okay? It's, it's, it's just, you know, well, maybe not good, but like it's okay, right? It's like, it's not gonna be a world of a difference. Like when you, when you look at these price points and you look at like when the fact of like something like a switch or an AeroPress exists, some of these, you, you know, they need to be stacked up. They need to stack up somehow. So I got I to gotta really drop a lot of the rankings on, on here. I have not tried the December Dripper at all. Um, the December Dripper was before my time in coffee. Um, so I do not know. Yes, I agree the MK Cups are S tier, but we will put the MK Cups into the under, you know, the the 50 to $100 rankings. And then I'll also make this zero to 25. I'm gonna make this spreadsheet view only. Um, and then, yes, the decent Knox box is definitely S tier because it's $69. So, I'm, uh, I'm going to uh, make this spreadsheet viewable for you guys and across the next few days or weeks, you know, whenever we stream and we hang out, uh, we can go and fill out the list. Because what my goal is like, I want the, a big ass spreadsheet that has like all the different, uh, I'll move this here so you guys can see, um, is like, I want all of the, I guess my window is not uh, centered, is I want to have the big ass spreadsheet with all the different tabs and we can go in and look at like, what is all the legit stuff? Or, or what, you know, just like whatever exists there, what's the ranking, what do we think um, it is? Is it good, is it bad? Um, and eventually I'm gonna try to filter out everything based on product type. Um, yeah, V60 Drip Assist, we did put here. I've never used it. I don't know if it's good. Also, the Time More Fish. Like, I, I don't I don't know when, like, what is it? Oxo, Oxo Kettle? I, I don't know why you would use this now when the fish exists. The fish is so good. Um, but I, I think, um, I think, uh, you know, tomorrow we'll probably go and wrap up 25 to 50. And then we'll also go and start building out 50 to 100 and we'll go on and, and so on and so forth. I probably am gonna stream something about the Bean Seeker. I know somebody asked a few hours ago about Bean Seeker, the, the cold brew thing. So maybe we can make some cold brew and also fill out a list at the same time. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Um, but the reason why the time our fish is named the fish is because the designer is named Fish. The more you know. <laughs> I really wish I could have met Fish. I, I I have to finish this, but there there's a, a video I shot with the Time Mar CEO, and we basically go over. This is from SCA. It's a long time ago, and I, I have to uh, finish the translation on that. Um, but it, it's a cool video. It's really awesome to hear about companies' backstories. Um, you know, I think a lot of, I think that's kind of the difference be, between Time More and a lot of these Asia companies, at least China specific companies, is that like a lot of these Chinese companies, um, there isn't like a dude, right? Like you can find that like the time, when you go to the Time More, like the Time More people are there. The fact that Fish is like a guy that you can talk to is pretty cool. But when you have a lot of these other Chinese brands, it's kind of, it's like not as interesting, right? It's like you, you can't put a face to the to the brand in any sort of way. Um, and I think that's just like, you know, not as, 
not as intuitive for me, but maybe that's just like uh, the way I I think about things. But um, I think we might stream a little bit earlier tomorrow. It's Friday, or we could go even later because uh, it's Friday and we don't, have, you know, so it's, it's more chill. Uh, I probably am going to wrap up in the next few minutes because it's, I didn't even realize, holy shit, it's 940. We've been streaming for a few hours now. Or, and I probably should get something to eat. But I'm going to make this guy view only. And clean this guy up and we can kind of go from there. Uh, flare and Neoflex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll add stuff onto the list, okay? It, it, this is a work in progress. And yeah, eventually I'm going to have to categorize all the products. So, um, you know, right now, like the focus of this is to have the, the dollars and then we can, we can then be like, okay, what is what? Because obviously like, you know, I, I did make a mention of like, okay, yeah, you know, how can you rank something when it exists in the context of all of this? Like S tier, like this is an S tier product versus like an A tier, pro uh, like, like a D tier product, right? But we'll try to categorize stuff and then we'll kind of go in and re-rank stuff because, you know, it's not, you know, like, like in, if I look at this $25 list, right? I'm like, obviously you look at like an RDT spray bottle and you compare it to, a V60, it's like, yeah, the V60 makes more sense. But we got to like categorize things into like accessories. Is it a nice to have? Do you need to have it? Um, what type is it? I still don't know if I like this nice to have versus must have. I think I kind of want to say like just some comments on it, like a lot of comments tab. And we can we can add a comments on everything. I think that'd be really fun. Yeah, you are the bomber. Will we be fitting to a statistical curve? I mean, if yeah, if we want to, if we want to start adding star ratings and, and you know, ranking like like the thing is, is, is like this right now is is a general ranking. OK, is like do how how granular do we want to go and and how do we want to exactly rank things um, out like that? It's also been a while since I've done stats, but but yeah, I don't know. I think I think we'll see what the stream says in the next few days on like what the best way to do the ranking is. Um, but it just kind of feels funny to be ranking like an RDT spray bottle to be like, this is a one out of five or something. Like maybe it should just be like worth it to not worth it or like good or bad. I don't know. Like again, that's subjective. And you know that we're gonna get these people, we're gonna get these people who, who yeah, okay, well, I think value ranking is good. Like one should be like performance ranking, right? Like, like, or, or like, you know, is this, how does this perform? And then like a value ranking, but, but we're, we kind of are like effectively value ranking stuff anyway, but based on the tiers. And then we can also totally um, reformat this just in general. Okay, yeah, you got to chart the price versus ranking and find what item statistically is most worth it. It's probably going to be like the V60, man. Um, okay, well, I think I'm going to wrap up. I got to get some food. It is pretty late, or I mean, it's getting late. It's We, we definitely did not go as late as we did, went yesterday, but I definitely want to... Uh, yeah, sure, SE, sure, SE 535. Um, I definitely want to thank everyone for spending time and, and hanging out here. Again, we're gonna we're gonna keep doing this. We're gonna keep doing this until we have the list, right? And we're I'm I'm, I'm providing you all the content, the glorious content that you may uh, enjoy. But at the end of the day, this is more for me to create and share out with you guys. And you're welcome to agree or disagree with whatever the hell is on the list. But thank you guys so much for hanging out tonight. Probably be back online tomorrow. Um, we'll we'll see what what happens.